Hey guys, let's get beard. Today, we are going to revisit one of the greatest segments of the entire humongous Let's Get Beard library of three videos that we've done so far. Beard hairstory. Today, I want to talk to you about five of the beardiest historical figures of all time. First on the list, numero uno in philosophical importance, Socrates, or as Bill and Ted would say, Socrates but Bill and Ted don't have beards, so it's Socrates. The classical Greek philosopher was a master life observer. He also had a beard! One of his many great quotes was, the way to gain a good reputation is to endeavor to be what you desire to appear. Allow me to translate what I think he meant. Peep's gonna like you more with a beard, dude! And then of course, there was good old Leo. No, not that Leo, although he sometimes had a beard, but not always. Leo. I mean, it was called the Wolf of Wall Street, not the baby's butt face of Skin Street. At least grow a Balbo or something. I've seen you do it. Anyway, no, I'm talking about the Italian hairy wildebeest himself, Leonardo da Vinci. Look at that gorgeous flowing white river of wispy whiskers. Why do you think Mona Lisa was smiling when she posed for that painting? Look at those eyes. You know what she's thinking. Oh, I like that beard on that guy's face there. Gimme, gimme, gimme. And then she passed out and died, never to be seen again. Hence the mystery around that painting. Actually, what would she look like with a beard? Just as I suspected. Awesome. Next on the list, Sven Forkbeard. No, I didn't just make that up. He's a guy who became king of Denmark in the mid 80s. The 980s. Anyway, the main reason I brought him up is because of his awesome name, Sven Forkbeard. Are you kidding me? Reminds me of when I had a longer beard, I would used to stick a fork in there and use it to scoop up my food and then whip it up and eat it. Worked really well on dates. Not the social outing, I'm talking about the small edible fruit. I couldn't get a date. I was disgusting. Anyway, I'm married now, it all worked out. Right, honey? See? And then of course there was another great philosopher, Confucius. Not only a man of great beard, but check out those eyebrows. It's like a unibrow the other way. And finally, Kaiser Wilhelm, the first German emperor. Look at those sweet mutton chops. More like mutton curtains. Have you heard of the Wilhelm scream? It's a soundbite of someone screaming that reoccurs in many, many movies. <laughs> Pretty sure it's a recording of when someone first saw Kaiser Wilhelm's beard and they were like, So there you have it. I hope we all learned a little something about our hairstory. Beard on, brother. Or sister. 